It's so, so simple to uninstall a WordPress installation. So first log into your cPanel. Go down to wherever your WordPress management tool is. Carefully select the one that you want to uninstall because once you do that, you cannot get it back unless it's backed up. If you're in doubt, make sure you back yours up first. So let's say I want to completely get rid of this one here as if it never existed. So I'm just going to go down and click on uninstall. It's going to remove the database, it's going to remove the files, the users, anything to do with that particular installation. So let's just double check and then remove installation. Might take a minute. There we go. It's done. The one little step I like to do if I remove an installation of WordPress, if I'm not going to use it again, is I'll normally go back to my cPanel and also remove the subdomain. Right? Um, often I've got a long list of subdomains just sitting there, it's clutter. And if you don't need it, you can simply go in to your domain management area of cPanel. So it's this one here, I want to manage it and I want to remove this particular domain or subdomain that I've created previously. Done. Now, at that point, it'll remove the files, it'll remove everything on your server as if that never existed. If you've got questions, ask in the comments and give this a thumbs up.